Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm pretty excited about. I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite drugstore foundations. These are foundations that for most of them I've had for a long time and I've been really loving and then two of them are fairly new and have just quickly became part of my everyday routines. To start, I do have oily to combination skin as many of you guys know, but I'm always open to trying out more foundations that are tended towards dry skin. I also will be mentioning what I like to use to apply it with. So the first one on the list is, should be to no one's surprise, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. This quickly launched and became almost everyone's favorite foundation. It is truly an amazing, amazing drugstore foundation. It does claim to be demi-matte, but no girl. It is so matte on the skin, but not in a bad way. I do have oily skin, and when I know I'm gonna be wearing this foundation, I'll really be sure to exfoliate and, and moisturize, and I'll also use a hydrating primer, even though I have oily skin. I'll kind of avoid it in this area, but everywhere else, especially the nose area, I'll use a hydrating primer because it is so matte. It claims to be a 24 hour foundation. I've never in my life tested any foundation for that long, nor I don't think I ever will either, but it does last a really long time. And many people on the internet claim the same thing. I've worn it probably for 12 hours and it lasted perfectly, not even a little bit of oils breaking through. It really does stay on the skin really well and doesn't break up at all, doesn't move around. It keeps your blush and your bronzers on really well. It's just does the job. Drugstore foundations are known not to really have that great of a shade, shade range and this one is kind of in that category. It has 12 shades, so not the best, but I have heard a lot of rumors that the infallible foundations will be coming out with more shades because of the success. I have two shades in this foundation. When it first launched, I was really, really tan. So I got 107 fresh beige and I also recently got 104, which is golden beige. And I tend to mix those together and it gives me the perfect amount because I think I'm right in between. Another thing that I like about this foundation is it's great to mix with other foundations. For example, I'll mix it with with a foundation that's a little bit more of a lighter coverage or has a little bit more of a hydrating, more dewy finish. Sometimes I'll mix just like a little drop of this guy in there and then it'll give me kind of my own foundation that I wanted. I love applying the Infallible Pro Matte with a beauty blender. A damp beauty blender really just pushes it into the skin so nicely and it just melts right in and it still keeps it from looking too cakey, which I really like. You can find this foundation really anywhere, Walmart, any local drugstore, Ulta, and it typically ranges from $10 to $15. Continuing on with the infallible foundations, of course, I have been talking about this foundation a lot on my channel recently because it just launched in Canada this summer. So it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. So you can see they're very similar except for this has more of a shiny finish and this has more of a matte finish. Who thought of that? This is a great foundation. It is so, so, so hydrating. So if you have dry skin, this is probably your drugstore foundation soulmate. It won't cling to those dry spots whatsoever. So definitely try that. But if you are like me and you have more oily skin, don't shy away from it because there are ways to really make it work. What I do is I basically will put a matte primer on beforehand. Sometimes the Nivea aftershave balm, that one works really, really well with this guy. And then it still lasts pretty long. It doesn't last as long as the Infallible Pro Matte, but it will last a good seven to nine hours, which in all all in all, I don't think you really want your foundation on for longer than that unless you're at a conference or something like that in an event. The coverage is definitely medium to buildable. Um, it's a little bit lighter of a coverage than the Pro Matte, but still very good coverage and you can definitely build on it. For the Inf Infallible Pro Glow, I really like applying it more so with a brush. I've been testing it out and I started off using my Beauty Blender and it still looks amazing, but I find applying it with a brush will make it really last just a tad longer. So I do like applying it with my Real Techniques buffing brush. This brush right here, this is such a great foundation brush, also from the drugstore, so definitely pick it up. It is so good at really buffing it into the skin and making sure it just really isn't gonna go anywhere or move around. So this foundation also has 12 shades in its collection, just like its sister. Like I mentioned for the Pro Matte, I'm, I had 107 and 104 and I felt like I was kind of in the middle. So when I went to purchase this one, I got 205, which 
you know, the shades I think are quite similar. The Pro Glow I've seen, and I purchased the Pro Glow for $23, tax included, like it was like 20 bucks. And I was shocked. That is really expensive for a drugstore foundation. But as I was browsing online, I've noticed that the prices have dropped a little bit and they are more so towards 10 to 15, which is much, much better. Definitely hunt around. I got mine at Rexall, but I've seen it now everywhere. Walmart, Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm sure any local drugstore will have it in stock. Next up, we're going to jump brands. We're going to head over to Maybelline. This one should be no shock to anyone as well because it is such a great foundation and so many people rave about it with reason. It is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. Looks like this. It's a glass bottle. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a pump. That's the only downside, but it's still a really great foundation. It definitely has a matte finish, but not as matte as the Pro Matte. It's more of a demi matte finish, so really great for everyday wear, especially if you work in an environment where you want to have a full coverage look, but you don't want to look too matte and too like, you know, like full coverage. This one's really great for that. It lasts all day, like nine to 10 hours, and it really keeps your bronzers and your blushes on really beautifully, and it applies so well. Coreless part of this foundation is that it says that it minimizes the appearance of pores, which I do agree, it really does give a flawless finish on the skin, but I still wear a primer, no matter what. I can't skip that step, it's just not in me. So I usually do wear primers that are either mattifying or pore minimizing, so one or the other. So this foundation has incredible shade range. There is 24 shades in this collection, and I'm kind of right in the middle. I'm 220 natural beige, but I do have several of the shades, and they're all stunning. They really do go on so well and really melt into the skin. So it just looks so blended and beautiful. It makes no difference whether I apply it with my brush or a beauty blender. I switch it up, whatever I'm really feeling for the day. This foundation is also a really great price. I've seen it sometimes at Walmart on sale for five bucks which is a great time to grab a few because 220 seems to be the most popular shade and it's always sold out. But when it's not on sale, it's usually between seven to $10, which is really great. Next up, we have one from CoverGirl. This one is a little bit new to me. I've been using it for, I think, three to four months and I really like it for every day. It's really great. It is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous. I love the packaging. It's super cute and chic. And I really do like squeeze tubes. I mean, I know it's drugstore, so I know that a lot of foundations don't have a pump, but if you put it in a squeeze tube, I will forgive you. So this foundation is great for, I think, oily to combination skin. It has very natural, soft matte finish. You will see your oils come through probably by lunchtime, but really easy to just kind of blot away and you'll be good for the rest of the day. It is lighter coverage than the rest of the foundations that I have talked about, but it is super buildable. I think with one layer and then your concealer, you're really good to go for everyday wear. So this foundation doesn't have the greatest shade range. It has 12 shades to it, which just like the L'Oreal's is not that great, but I was still able to find a shade that I really liked and it is 220 Soft Honey and it matches really, really well to the skin. It blends out really well. I like applying it with my my brush I find it really helps distribute it evenly it's not really made for long wear events but I would definitely wear it for every day the last foundation I've got is another L'Oreal one L'Oreal really does well with foundations it is the L'Oreal true match this little guy it's just like my child it's been with me for so long I've gone through so many bottles I've been using this foundation for years and lately I've I've reached lust for it, but when I was preparing for this video and going through my foundations, I saw this little guy hiding in the back, and I couldn't believe that I hadn't used it in so long because it really is such an incredible foundation. This foundation by far has the best shade ranges in out of all drugstore foundations. L'Oreal has divided the shades into cool, warm, and neutral toned. The letter before the number kind of dictates that, whether it's C, W, or N. I'm definitely warm and I'm W4 natural beige, but I have jumped around a little bit. I've tried W5, W6. It definitely has a semi-matte finish and I do notice sometimes in the winter time it'll cling a little bit to dry patches if you're not totally taking care of your skin, like exfoliating, moisturizing, that kind of thing. But other than that, it really sits on the skin so beautifully. It doesn't budge, it won't move, and it lasts all day, like all day, 12 hours. <sighs> 
so that wraps up all my favorite foundations I did want to give one little shout out to Revlon because there is a foundation by Revlon that I love it is the Revlon color stay foundation I love that foundation I used it for years and I've just never repurchased it but I do love that one so I just wanted to give it a quick little mention but yeah those are my top five 5.5, 5, 5, 6 favorite foundations from the drugstore. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it and I'll be definitely doing more types of videos like this. Definitely my top five high-end foundations and I'm thinking about doing concealers as well. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see and I also have a giveaway going on so I'll leave that link down below. You guys can go and enter that. It was from Generation Beauty in New York City so definitely check that out. It ends I think next week, October 10th. So I don't think I have anything else to say, so thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.